The Port of Virginia is a national maritime gateway to the global economy. Today, more than 30 international steamship lines serve the port, making Virginia a true maritime hub. To support this role, we have fixed our gaze on the distant horizon to see what must be done at home to continue our success. That's why we have Suez-class cranes designed to handle today's giant ships loaded as much as 26 containers across, and even larger ships that will one day be breaking that distant horizon. That's why we are the only deep water port on the East Coast with obstruction-free channels 50 feet deep. And one of the most technologically advanced terminals in the Americas with automated container handling equipment. The Port of Virginia's reach extends throughout the Commonwealth and beyond. Our marine terminals in Hampton Roads and Richmond and our inland intermodal facility in Northern Virginia are connected by a state-of-the-art multimodal freight transportation network that touches over two-thirds of the U.S. population. And we continue to grow and expand our reach using our on-dock double-stack rail service to reach inland markets in the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and the Southeast. It's also why we're planning future expansion of our capabilities with the Craney Island Marine Terminal, the largest fully permitted port expansion project in the United States. We are addressing tomorrow's needs today by promoting a culture of continuous growth, improvement, and sustainability. And by cultivating an environment where our workforce can thrive through collaboration with industry partners to achieve our goals and meet the changing needs of the future. Like the best corporate citizens the world over, the Port of Virginia recognizes that a future of sustainable success requires responsible stewardship of our environment. To do our part, we've adopted an international standard, ISO 14001, Environmental Management System, or EMS, to frame our decisions and actions. And we need you, our colleagues and partners, to help us make this effort a success. Our plan for success includes setting specific, achievable, and realistic goals. We strive to attain 100% compliance with all laws and regulations related to environment and safety, while continually improving our performance and strategically growing our business. We're already on the right path. In 2013, the Port of Virginia was recognized with the Virginia Governor's Environmental Excellence Award, thanks to our team efforts. And in 2014, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency awarded the port a grant to help purchase new, low-emission, hybrid shuttle carriers the first of their kind on the East Coast. Continual improvement of our environmental management system means working through an ongoing cycle of planning, implementing, reviewing, and improving. Together, we can meet and exceed our commitments by understanding and following policies and procedures in five important categories. First, spill prevention, control, and response. Please work to prevent large spills by shutting down equipment immediately when you detect a leak. All terminals have a spill response truck. And train personnel to direct and assist with spill response and cleanup. These procedures require all incidents and emergencies to be reported to the port police. Please call 757-440 7070 in the event of an emergency. Do not call 911. The port police will direct emergency and spill response crews as needed. Your port ID is a reminder of our commitment to prevent, improve, and comply. The emergency phone number is also on your ID for easy reference. For smaller spills, the port's spill prevention, control, and response procedures also require that all spills and leaks be promptly cleaned up and absorbent materials disposed of properly. Spill kits must be located at all fuel storage areas. 
and you are reminded to inspect all equipment for leaks prior to use. At fuel pumps and on fuel trucks, please attend the fuel nozzle, properly replace the nozzle on the dispenser, and keep hoses out of the way of foot or vehicle traffic. And everyone who handles petroleum products or chemicals on our work sites must be trained in spill response procedures every year. In addition to environmental concerns, spills can cause slips and falls, so prompt cleanup of all spills is also important to ensure our facilities are safe places to work. Next, litter control and waste management. Please keep our terminals clean places to work. Litter and recycling policies and procedures are in place to guide the maintenance of our work areas. The primary requirements of these procedures are very simple. Please discard all litter and recyclables in proper receptacles. Never abandon cargo, tires, drums, or other materials on the terminals. This policy is enforced by our port and terminal management with assistance from the port police. Hazardous materials must not be thrown in the regular trash and must be disposed of by a licensed waste hauler. Please keep all records and manifests related to hazardous waste disposal. Please help keep our facilities and waterways clean by reporting any excessive litter or potential contamination to the police or terminal management so that the proper maintenance crews can respond. Third, stormwater management. The port has installed permanent stormwater controls that reduce the surface pollutants that wash off the terminals into our rivers by over 50%. Our controls include an innovative underwarf stormwater detention basin at NIT, additional retention basins, and other engineered controls. Procedures for stormwater management require that materials must be stored indoors whenever possible to keep potential pollutants out of stormwater runoff. Any metals stored outside should be stored off the ground on pallets. And containers and above ground storage tanks must be positioned away from storm drains. Wash racks must be used for approved equipment and container handling operations. When using wash racks, please be careful to avoid overspray and after each use, please clear debris and excess dirt and oil from the wash racks. Number four, hazardous and non-hazardous material storage and handling. The port actively seeks green alternatives to replace hazardous materials whenever possible. And we have established programs for recycling and disposal of hazardous wastes. In our day-to-day -day operations, all drums, above-ground storage tanks, and other storage containers must be labeled with current contents or marked empty. Also, be sure all drums and tanks are moved properly using dollies or other equipment. Used batteries should be labeled with the date they are removed for recycling, stored in an area with secondary containment, and removed by a recycling contractor within one year. All drums and containers must be kept closed when not in use. All used tires must be stored indoors or under cover. Storage is limited to a maximum of 99 used tires per work area. And secondary containment is a must for all drums and above ground storage tanks. All materials are to be stored and labeled according to federal and state regulations. Material safety data sheets are required for all chemicals on the terminals. All maintenance personnel are required to know how to access the online MSDS inventory in the event of an emergency. Every above ground storage tank must be inspected monthly and each inspection must be documented. With regard to hazardous waste storage and disposal, we have steps in place to maintain safety and protect the environment. We use aerosol can puncture devices and light bulb crushers to help keep pollutants out of the solid waste stream. We also follow procedures to properly collect and dispose or recycle 
all used oil, antifreeze, batteries, light bulbs and ballasts, scrap metal, used tires, and electronics. Our fifth category is air quality. We're already taking actions to reduce our air quality impact with the following initiatives. Operating electric cranes and purchasing and testing ultra low emission diesel or hybrid cargo handling equipment. The James River Barge Line service utilizes tugboats powered by low emission engines, reducing emissions by 34% on cargo moves between Hampton Roads and Richmond, Virginia. All equipment is fueled with ultra low sulfur diesel fuel as required by the Environmental Protection Agency. Our green operator or GO program provides incentives to encourage our trucking industry partners to install diesel exhaust retrofits or purchase new clean diesel or alternative fuel trucks to lower petroleum and greenhouse gas emissions associated with transporting cargo through the port. Through the GO Vessel Program, we're providing incentives to commercial container ship lines serving the Port of Virginia to encourage alternative fuel use or hybrid technology for at-birth operations. Please do your part to help reduce emissions from terminal operations and save fuel by limiting idling time for trucks and other equipment. Shut off the engine when the vehicle is not in use. All policies and procedures are included in contract documents and purchase orders and are available online from the Port of Virginia website. Your awareness card, issued with your port ID, provides a daily reminder of our EMS policy and emergency phone numbers. While much of our environmental management system addresses the need to preserve and protect the existing environment, we're also helping to enhance our local communities by restoring wetlands that provide waterfront recreational opportunities at Plum Point Park and Paradise Creek Park. The port constructed 11 acres of wetlands in partnership with the Elizabeth River Project to create Paradise Creek Nature Park in Portsmouth, Virginia. This park enhances public access and promotes stewardship of the Elizabeth River. Environmental stewardship is an integral part of our overall mission and daily port operations. Our efforts have paid off. We are the only major East Coast port to obtain the ISO 14001 certification for environmental management of port operations. But we're not done. Our goal is to continually improve our operational efficiency and our environmental performance and sustainability. It's going to take innovation, fortitude, and mindfulness by all our colleagues at the port to achieve long-term success. It's a goal that we can reach by being helpful, accessible, and working together. And most importantly, it's a goal we must reach. Because we are the Port of Virginia and the stewards of tomorrow. <laughs>